Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to uh, manage the main menu. We will finalize the main menu and also we will add settings panel to main menu. So, we are selecting the bus controller from uh, uh, the mobile uh, touch controllers like steering and left, right, etc. from uh, scenes. But uh, now we uh, want to add that setting in main menu okay so whenever we will uh, do that setting in main menu then we can move further and uh, uh, we will play with that steerings so let's start so for creating the uh, for uh, this about button I have created a one more panel here about and you can see very uh, simple panel about us and with the text and with the button of main menu so on main menu button if we select this main menu button you can see we have uh, uh, this on click function where it is okay we are selecting the text so button we have on click function and we are making about panel uh, inactive and we are making main menu active okay so this is the about panel and uh, similarly we have created uh, we have added the function on the about button itself so if you select this button you can see that we have added on click function and we have making uh, we have uh, setting up the about function act, uh, about panel active and main menu inactive okay so it's very simple so i don't want to explain this i already have explained in uh, many more videos so now we will create the shopping uh, uh, sorry the setting panels so for setting panel i will just duplicate the about panel so here is the about panel i will just duplicate it and then we can rename it to settings or uh, options whatever you want and then I will just make it active and I will just change the text about us to uh, select mobile controller okay and then we have this panel I will just make it bigger like this and then we have we don't need this text so uh, I will just delete this text also we don't need this main menu option but uh, we will just select this and I will just rename it to select okay so when we will click on this button we have to select the uh, options and then we will move back to uh, main menu okay so for the selection of uh, ui controllers uh, it's uh, we i already have explained you that if you will check the rcc options panel you will see that we have a, a drop down uh, menu okay so for that purpose we will just create a drop down and i'm creating the drop down menu here in main ui because whenever we right away if you will add it inside settings panel it may be stretched okay so for uh, better experience we can create a drop down uh, here and then we can just make it bigger okay and then you can just drop it inside the settings panel now we can just uh, change the color of the panel so something like uh, blue maybe dark blue like this and then for the text we will change the text color so if you select the do or drop down you can see the label so here i will just uh, add a label so i will just say for example ui buttons like this and we will change the font we will also change the color and now we will add some options for ui buttons uh, as i told you whenever we select the drop down and uh, you can see 
uh, that we have some options here and we can add or delete the options of drop down so here in these options we will add some options so the name should be name and spelling should be the same so first option will be ui buttons the second option will be accelerometer accelerometer spelling must be uh, exactly same and then we have a steering wheel so we will have steering wheel steering wheel and we will add one more uh, option for for uh, the what left is uh, joystick so we will add joystick here okay so now uh, here we have on value changed function okay so what we did is that on main ui i have added one more script which is rcc demo manager okay so this script is very important and you have to add it on any game object it's not important to add it on main ui you can add it anywhere okay so this is the important thing rcc demo manager so now we will select the drop down and uh, on value change function we will drag drop our main ui here and from rcc demo we will select a function of set mobile controller okay you don't have to select this one okay we have to select this one so we will select it here and that's nice we have su successfully uh, s uh, set up the uh, main setting now we will also add one more component here and uh, we will uh, add rcc is useless okay and in the on the same drop down menu okay so here we will add mobile controllers okay so that's it's that's the setting for the ui buttons drop down so now we will select the select menu uh, select button actually so which is here and on the select button we will also add some settings so I will just remove this and we will add on click function and we will drag drop main UI here again and for function we will select RCC demo and we will select sorry we will select init behavior okay so it will initiate the behavior also when we will click on select we want that setting panel should be uh, close so we will just drag drop this setting panel here okay. game object set active will be unchecked and we want to activate the main menu so we will drag drop main menu here and we will make it active okay so that's nice that's it for the setting panel so now we will just select the setting panel we, will, we can hide the setting panel and now if we will go to main menu and if we go to settings uh, button here you can see we have on click function and uh, we want to make main menu inactive and uh, the other menu will be setting menu so we will add setting menu here and we want to make setting menu active okay that's it for the setting panel so let's try it now so if you play the game uh, you will see that uh, will be in the main menu and uh, hopefully everything will work fine so now you can see we are on main menu and if you click on about you can see about us panel and if you click on main menu you will move back to main menu if we click on settings you can see that joystick is selected so we can select ui buttons for example and then if we click on select if we go to play and let's select the bus and play you will see that we can play our game okay with buttons we have selected the buttons so as you can see it's uh, working properly so one more try let's change it to some other other options so let's select it let's play the game again 
okay and we will go to settings we will select uh, some other option like steering wheel and uh, select select play and hopefully now our controller will be changed yeah you can see we have steering wheel which is fully working and we have selected this steering wheel as well so that's nice now the final thing we will finalize our main menu so here in main menu as you can see that we have functions on play button about settings but on quit button we don't have any function so we want to add some function for quit the game so we'll go to shop manager or you can create another script as well it's up to you so i will just use the shop manager and uh, here i can create some function so public void quit sorry uh not on notification quit quit game bus okay just like this and here we will say application dot quit that's it that's the function we need for quitting the game and it will be uh, tested out inside the real time game after building in uh, it for android uh, the application dot quit function can't be test inside the unity editor so we'll select the quit button we will add bus folder script because uh, we have uh, added the shop manager on the bus holder okay so now we'll select quit button and uh, here bus holder now we'll select the function shop manager and we will select the quit bus button uh, function okay so now you can see uh, there is no button, uh, uh, no function with quit bus because it will take some time for compiling out. So here we have some error as well. Why? Okay, we have some error at shop manager type of namespace definition on end of file. So we are making some mistake. Yeah, we are creating two brackets. So now we will save it and hopefully it will work absolutely fine now and it will take some time for compiling and, and now we will select the function here and hopefully the quit function will be there. So let's select it shop manager and we will have quit function again you can see we have the same error here and it is due to uh, you can see here it's uh, taking some time for compiling i think so yeah it's taking some time so, so wait for some seconds now after compiling we can go to functions shop manager and we will have quit game bus so now we have added quit function on the uh, button as well also we need some uh, sound on these buttons so for adding sounds it's so uh, very easy we can just uh, cre add a sound here so you can see background sound is here but uh, we have uh, play and awake is also fine dupe is also fine but why it's not working so maybe we have disabled the sound in game view maybe i don't know no it's fine mute idea mute idea is fine so why we are not listening the background sound so let's see i think it should be there but uh, i don't know uh, sorry my mistake it is there okay the background sound so that's fine we also need some sounds for the buttons so uh, here i will just uh, uncheck this and i will just uh, add one another i will just duplicate this sound uh, game object and i will just make it a button sound you can definitely create some game object and categorize these sounds so we don't need a loop we don't need play on awake for this button sound and we will go to audios we will select button and we will add click sound you can get some click sound from uh, online as well okay so now we will select the buttons so let's select all the buttons here 
in main menu and we will add on click function we will just drag draw button sound here and we will add function audio source play okay so that's so easy so now uh, I will just uh, open the bus selection menu and we will select the play button here buy button and play button so let's add these buttons we will add sound here as well and we will make these sounds playable so now we will select the bus selection we'll make it inactive don't need it for time we will have about and we have this button in about and we'll select the back button we'll select on click function button sound and play okay so also for the last setting panel we will select it and we will select the select button and we will just uh, add on click function button sound and we will make it playable that's it for uh, this section now if we play the game hopefully the buttons will sound okay so now you can see you can listen the sound of clicks now okay like, like this also we have click sound here but it will not work inside unity editor it will work only after building uh, the uh, environment so here you can see play and buy 1000 and 2000 you can see we can't click on this and we can click on this and then play and sounds are working absolutely fine so I think we have uh, finalized our main menu and uh, hopefully you understand the concept of uh, creating main menu and uh, adding some sub menus inside main menu that's it for this video in next video we will move further